Welcome to Mushroom Wonderland. What's up everybody, Aaron Hilliard here, Mushroom Wonderland. And I'm here in the great Pacific Northwest and it is May, it is springtime, it is beautiful outside. And what I have found today is Pleurotus, oyster mushrooms. And these are a common one growing this time of year. You can find oyster mushrooms in the spring. Uh, growing on often dead alder here in the northwest. If you look at this dead tree right here beside me, this is an alder tree. And this is where these Pleurotus were growing. If you look way up here, growing up here on the tree, there's a bunch of oyster mushrooms. This is the alder tree. And uh, growing up here out of reach are our oyster mushrooms. Alder likes to grow uh, kind of around wetlands and the leaves look just like this. So these are deciduous trees. They lose their leaves in the uh, fall and they grow them back in the spring. This alder that was just cut down by the beaver gonna be way too fresh. Mushrooms are not gonna be growing on this fresh cut of alder, just so you know. Also, if the alder's alive and full of leaves in the canopy, they're not gonna be growing mushrooms either. It is only gonna be growing on dead trees, right? They eat the dead material inside this log and it creates sugars and the mushroom feeds on those sugars inside the log and you won't even see the mycelium growing. But when it's time to fruit and it needs to spread its spores, that's when the oysters are gonna pop out of the log. I would say it's gotta be at least two years dead before it's gonna grow any mushrooms on it. Just like oysters that you could buy in the store, they're a different species probably. These ones are very white. They've got a little tanning and they're a little bit dried out. They've, uh, they've definitely spored and sent their spores flying across the, uh, across the forest here. Uh, the Pleurotus osteratus that grows here in the Pacific Northwest almost always associates with alder like this. This is an old dead alder. There's not too many edible wild mushrooms growing out here in the spring in the northwest, but the Pleurotus oyster mushroom is one that you can find. If you look, the, the gills run completely down to the base of the mushroom. There is no stem on these. It's a pretty easy identifier. If you're worried about angel wings, I believe those only grow in the autumn and they also grow on coniferous trees. So if it's springtime and it's a hardwood tree like this alder here, um, you can pretty much bet that these are oyster mushrooms. Right here, this grove of alder I was just talking about, I just looked down on a log, and right here, we have the beginnings of a Pleurotus popping out of here. See that? Beautiful little oyster mushroom. Again, these gills come completely down. There is no stem on these, right? They have gills that go right to where they attach. real good eating. So thanks for watching Mushroom Wonderland. Go find your oyster mushrooms. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for following and liking this video. Take care. It's the circle of life out here in the forest. Yeah. Mushroom life, circle of mushroom life. <laughs>